I've been setting up some emails um, for a client this morning. I just wanted to show you how much how you behave controls if your email goes to the inbox. What I'm doing is I'm this is happening with the same exact email setup with you know DMARC, DKIM, uh, SPF in the background. And you see here, this is actually Mail Tester. Um, I usually use Mail Genius, but I thought I also use Mail Tester to see uh, what's going to happen across it. And Mail Tester tells me, and this is a one-off email sent out of the Conversations tab in high level. It just says, um, you're lucky if this email goes to an inbox, and it says you're listed on a blacklist. And um, that actually gives me a uh, ding, and uh, Spam Assassin doesn't like me either, so I have a score of 4.6 out of 10. Now, without changing anything in the background to this one here, here's what it comes to if I send with a correct email, with a correct from address, through the same exact setup. You know, it says your email is almost perfect, uh, not blacklisted, no broken links. Spam Assassin thinks I can improve, but there is, and you know, when you click on it, you actually see the, the little things that you can improve on. But um, I'm going from a, what is it here, 4.6, rainy day, not going to inbox, to a 8.8, .8 going to inbox, and there's only two changes. Uh, let me show you the, the changes. I started with Mail Genius, and Mail Genius, you know, gives you all the bad stuff. So this is where I started, and um, I'm looking at at this, and I see there's domain blacklist, HTML body problems, DMARC is failing, DKIM problems, and I'm going to 69. Now this is the first one that I took, and I thought, okay, you know, the problem here is the client, um, and there is something with the client email that's wrong. Well, then um, I went and I checked my own, and I'm seeing the same thing. And I'm not, I know I'm not blacklisted, um, but my DMARC HTML, um, or actually I probably should go to this one here um, because I already tested it with a different email. So when you look at this here, the only difference in that email is here my from email. And basically what I did is I let the standard from email stand in my uh, email client. And it gives me a 68. You know, as you've seen, mail tester says you are lucky if it goes into inbox. And this is what I hear all the time from uh, from people in the high level group is their emails go into inbox and it's all high level's fault. Well, let me show you what happens. Write your email correctly and you use the correct from address. You see here, I'm just using a different from address here, and my email is now an, a different email. So I have an email, with, this is with the exact same setup in the background, I have an email that goes to spam, and I have an email that goes to the inbox. And the difference really is the email that it comes from, the subject line, and then when you look at the email preview, this email here is almost all text, Whereas this email here is almost all image. So this is something that you should remember. There is a big difference between using an email that is text-based and, uh, and uh, using an email that is um, picture-based and using a email from a trip that actually coincides with your mail server that you're using versus one that you're text-based and not coincides with the mail server that we're using. So what I did with this one here, where is it right there, the 73, this is actually the text-based email and I'm using again a wrong from email now this is a correct from email right you know it's my uh, compliantly from email but um, it doesn't jive with the server that it comes from so it is important how you set this up 
it is important to understand the settings and it's important to understand that there is a difference in what type of email you're sending. So this is just an explanation of why it is important to have um, a correct setup and why it is important to understand the behavior that's behind it. If you are interested in it, you can hop on a call with me and we can go through your email practices and we can figure out how to do this correctly. I hope this is helpful and if it is, I would like to have a review. I hope that by the time you get to this point, you understand there is a difference between just setting up technology and then just not behaving in a way that that technology is actually helpful. And the difference is here 73 to 97. So this is just behavior. This is a no setup change, just behavior. This is a simple change. It's easy to do. Uh, you just need to know that you need to do it.